Let's say we only want to look at the fourth quarter, or if we only want to look at the two minute drill, we can go less than two minutes or less than four minutes or whatever you can think of. That's kind of the theme here is whatever you can think of in the data suite, you can pretty much do. And there are so many more filters, even in the advanced tables, it's hard to even wrap your head around. You could just sit there for hours, scrolling through and reading through what all of them do and figuring it out. That's what this tutorial uh, series is for, is just to give you some ideas to get started of some useful stats, some useful filters to use. What? What? Why are you shaking your head? You're welcome. What is going on guys? Ryan Heath from fantasypoints.com here. Today, I am starting up a series where I just show you how to navigate the Fantasy Points data suite, as well as how to pull all of the incredible stats out of here that you see people like myself, people like Scott Barrett, the entire team at Fantasy Points always pulling all these amazing stats and tweeting them out. And you say, oh, how can I do this? This series is for you. You will become a data suite pro by the end of this. For this video, I'm just gonna be going over all of the basic features of the data suite, how to navigate it, what to do if you have never gone into the data suite yourself before. This is just gonna get you comfortable with using it, show you all the basic features, and tell you exactly how you can get started. So the first most important thing to get started is you have to go to data.fantasypoints.com and you can sign up for a free account there. And with that free account, you will be able to do everything you see in this specific video today because with no purchase at all, you can get access to our free tables, our basic tables that have just the basic stats within them. It's all of the features are gonna kind of carry over to the more advanced tables. It just won't have all of the premium charted data that we have behind the paywall, right? So again, data.fantasypoints.com, make your account. It'll take you right here once you're finished with that to our dashboard here. We're gonna go into the basic passing section for today's tutorial so that I can just kind of show you how the data suite works as I mentioned. So yeah, once this loads up, you'll see within each row, you've just got a different player. So these are just all of Tua Tunga Vailoa's stats for the 2023 season. You can scroll up and down to see more players obviously, and you can scroll from side to side to see more columns. Not as many columns in this table, especially in some of our advanced tables, you're gonna have to scroll a lot to the right in order to see all of the columns because this is just absolutely packed with different stats. It's really, really exciting once you get in there. So again, once you're here in these columns, you can just click on them to sort by either descending. So here we have passing yards per attempt, sorted descending, or sort by ascending. Look at Aaron Rodgers with a big fat zero there last year, huh? And as you might have just noticed from where my cursor was, if you hover anywhere over one of these stat names in a column, you're just gonna get a pop-up that tells you exactly what the stat is. So this rate column is a QB's passer rating. Uh, over here is gonna be passing completion percentage, CMP percent. That's really nice, especially for the stats where just by the abbreviation, you're not entirely sure what it is. You can always check just by hovering over the column. All right, so here, let's go back to sorting. Let's sort by yards per game, right? Yards G, passing yards per game. So I'm gonna show you how to change the season and how to filter for different games. So over here in the top left, we have this, this dedicated season filter. Right now, the default is 2023. We are gonna select 2022, cause let's, yeah, let's say we wanna see what happened in 2022. And then here in the week filter right next to it, let's say that we not only wanna see what happened in the regular season of 2022, but also in all of the playoff games of 2022. 
So there we go. We can see this changes, which tells us we've selected all weeks, including the playoffs. And what we can do here, so once we've got these two filters selected how we want, we just have to remember to click this green apply button here in the top. That goes for any time you change a filter in the data suite. It's very important you remember to click that green apply button. Nothing will change in the table until you do so. So now that we've done that and the table has updated, we can actually see that Mike White, our GOAT, led the league in passing yards per game in 2022, including the playoffs. Obviously, Mike White did not start in the playoffs. We can see here that he only played four games, but it's yards per game, so that, that works for him, right? We've got Mahomes right under him. Jameis Winston right here on three games. So you might be noticing a pattern, right? It's okay, we, we've got the yards per game leaders, but we've got Mike White and Jameis Winston here who only played a handful of games. How would I just get rid, like obviously I can see, okay, Pat Mahomes is the one who played 20 games here, but let's say I just wanna get rid of Mike White and Jameis Winston, right? So we can do that very easily as well by setting a minimum games filter. So we just have to go over here on the left side to the advanced filters toggle. That's gonna pop out this menu here for us. And then to set a minimum, we go to the qualifier tab here. And right here, we can set our minimum games played. There's also options for minimum dropbacks, minimum attempts. In the rushing tables, you'll be able to do minimum rushing attempts. In the receiving tables, you'll have minimum routes or minimum targets or whatever it may be. But yeah, let's just set a minimum game filter here. We can go minimum 15, or we'll go minimum 10 games played, right? That seems about fair. So yeah, once again, just make sure we hit the apply button, and then that's gonna filter out the Mike Whites and the Jameis Winstons, and we're only left with quarterbacks who played at least 10 games. So yeah, we've got Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady, Justin Herbert making up our top five, which is always nice. Uh, so let's say we wanted to post this to Twitter or something. We wanted to take a screen grab. But the problem here is we just have all these extra columns. We, we don't want to show the completion percentage and the dropbacks and the attempts. We just want to show yards per game for whatever reason, right? So we can very easily hide all of these columns so that we're only left with yards per game right here next to the games. And the way we do that is over here on the left, We've got the toggle table columns here. So we're just gonna pull that tab out and we can just go through and check off any columns we don't want. So we just removed the drop back column, we just removed the attempt column, and we can remove all these columns until it's just yards per game. We could even remove the position column. We know all these guys are quarterbacks, right? So pop that back and there we go. We're just left with Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City, 20 games played, 297.7 yards per game. We can take a beautiful, nice condensed screenshot just like this, right? All right, let's go ahead and remove, all, or well, first let's put our columns back uh, just because I would like everything else to be here. And then we can go ahead and quickly just reset all of these filters we did if we just want to start over. We don't have to refresh the page. We can just click this white reset button up here in the top right so that we can reset. See, we're back to 2023 now, back to just the regular season. And we can start again with a different set of filters or whatever it else, whatever else it is we wanna do. So I'm gonna show you one other very underutilized feature in the data suite now. Again, this will apply to all of the tables, but it is easy to see in the basic tables here. So we're again gonna go into the advanced filters. And I, I should just mention that in this play tab is where most of the filters you're gonna want to mess around with are. So here we've got leading, tied, trailing. You can filter for only plays where the player's team was leading, or you can sort by a certain score differential. If you wanna remove garbage time, for example, you could go between negative 14 to 14 as the score differential, the games within two scores. Or time, time remaining, let's say we only wanna look at the fourth quarter, or if we only wanna look at the two minute drill, we can go less than two minutes or less than four minutes or whatever you can think of. 
that's kind of the theme here is whatever you can think of in the data suite you can pretty much do and there are so many more filters even in the advanced tables it's hard to even wrap your head around you could just sit there for hours scrolling through and reading through what all of them do and figuring it out that's what this tutorial uh, series is for is just to give you some ideas to get started of some useful stats some useful filters to use but anyway, the final feature I wanted to show you here in this basic tutorial is our splits function. As I was saying, it's very, very underutilized. So it, it's just gonna be easier to show you what it does than to try to explain what it does. So if we go ahead and toggle on the weak split here, and then we click apply. So it's going to change from every quarterback being in their own row and having all their stats to now each quarterback has one week in a row right so we've sorted by most yards per game cj stroud in week nine had the most passing yards in a single game right we i mean we could even just sort by yards and it would be the same thing because yeah this is split by week or let's go with the most attempts in one game for example andy dalton week three <laughs> had the most passing attempts by any quarterback in a single week this past year that one's a little surprising i did not know that uh we got Derek carr week seven matt stafford week two right behind him Th these are some surprising results i i can't remember how dfs turned out those weeks i, w I wonder if those guys ended up in the winning lineups uh, so yeah, as you can see, this just this weekly split shows us within each week what the stats were. And an even better way to use this, I believe, is to split by both week and by opponent, right? So go by week, by opponent, and then we hit apply. And it's going to do basically the same thing, right? I mean, it's still a unique week. But it's also going to show us here the opponent that they were facing. So Andy Dalton threw 58 times against the Seahawks. But what we can also do, since each row is unique here, right, is let's say we wanted to just look at CJ Stroud, if I can spell his name correctly. We search here for the player in the search bar, and let's just filter by week. And now what we've done is we've just created a CJ Stroud game log with all of the data suites stats in it, right? So we can see by yards per attempt, every single game he had, by QB passer rating, every single game. Uh, his highest passer rating game was in week nine against the Buccaneers, against that secondary. I guess that's not too surprising or the game he had the most sacks in was week two against the Colts. I guess he got beat up in that Stroud versus Anthony Richardson matchup, right? So, and you can do this again in any table. So if you were to go into say the advanced receiving table and you wanted to see the highest yards per route run of DeAndre Hopkins out of every week, you could do the exact same thing and just sort by any receiver stat. Or, yeah, you can do it with any quarterback stat here. The most yards C.J. Stroud had in the game was 470, in, again, in Week 9 against the Buccaneers. So that should give you an idea of all of kind of the basic features of the data suite, just kind of how to navigate, how to move around, and exactly what to do. So even if you have a stat in mind, beforehand before you watch this video maybe you didn't know how to execute how to actually get to it how to sort how to filter how to find anything hopefully now you have a bit a better handle on that and again if you want to go try it for yourself you can do so for free you can do everything in this video completely for free just go make a free account at data.fantasypoints Com, you can go right into the basic passing table, to the basic rushing table, whatever it may be that you want to get an idea for. So thanks for watching. Again, Ryan Heath at Fantasy Points. Go to data.fantasypoints.com and get started today and look out for more tutorial videos going more in depth and giving you some specific examples and ideas of stats that I have pulled, that Scott Barrett has pulled, that the whole team at 
fantasy points has pulled that are either useful for fantasy or just really cool. I'm going to show you how to pull all of them. Thanks for watching guys and take it easy.